Well, we'll have to do that when we go there, won't we? Oh, Stinky, just a moment. Hold that thought, dear. Hello, my little poppets. Oh, story time comes around so quickly. I was just having a chat to Stinky about cats because Stinky would like to have one as a pet. But I don't know, it's a big responsibility having a cat for a pet, Stinky. Cats and mice don't normally mix. No, they don't, but I think um, it might be all right. We'll have to wait and see. Besides, you're a rather big mouse, aren't you? Yes, you're quite a big fellow. But anyway, cats, yes, getting on with the story, my little poppets. And the story today is, thank you, Stinky dear, Ginger, and look at that. What a wonderful pussy on the cover. I do like the look of that cat, I have to say. I do love cats. Well, Ginger, so we'll get on, we'll crack on before I start waffling on like I do. Oh, I'll pop Stinky here and we'll have a chat about cats shortly. Well, oh, you're on my poncho, Stinky. Silly fellow. Oh, Ginger, and he's in a lovely basket. I do like the look of that basket. Ginger the cat. And here we go, my little poppets. Ginger. Oh, lots of pages. Ginger was a lucky cat. He lived with a little girl who made him delicious meals and gave him a beautiful basket where he would curl up. And he is curled up in the basket, my little poppets. It looks very snug in there, I have to say. What a wonderful place for a cat to take a nap. Well, that's something to think about. If we do get a cat for a pet, we'll have to get a beautiful basket. Oh, and close his eyes. Here he is fast asleep. And there he is, my little poppets, tucked up there in the basket, fast asleep. The perfect place for a cat to take a nap. Wonderful. And I do like ginger cats. I think they're very, very pretty. Oh. But here he is again, wide awake. What's this? A kitten. He'll be a nice new friend for you, Ginger, said the little girl. And there he is there. But Ginger didn't want a new friend, especially one like this. Ginger hoped the kitten would go away, but he didn't. Everywhere Ginger went, the kitten followed, springing out from behind doors, leaping onto Ginger's back. Oh, poor Ginger. Oh, he doesn't look like he's getting any peace with that kitten. Oh, he's being hounded. Even eating Ginger's food. What a naughty kitten. Oh, poor Ginger. It looks like he's going to miss out on his supper. But then again, I suppose it is good to share, isn't it? We'll have to wait to see. Oh, he looks frightful on this page. But what upset Ginger more than anything was that whenever he got into his beautiful basket, the kitten always climbed in too. And the little girl didn't do anything about it. Oh, well that's what's made him most unhappy, I think. He expects that the little girl should do something about it. And she hasn't. There they are there. He's got a frightful expression on his face. He's not happy. So Ginger decided to leave home. Oh dear. He went out through the cat flap and he didn't come back. The kitten waited for a bit, then he got into Ginger's basket. It wasn't the same without Ginger. No, well I don't suppose it would. Oh dear, he's leaving home. Well that's sad. Oh, poor Ginger. The kitten played with some flowers. Then he found somewhere to sharpen his claws. Oh my Lord, he's ruining that beautiful chair. And cats do like to do that, I'm afraid. They do like to use chairs to sharpen their claws. Oh, not a good place. He needs a scratch post, I think. The little girl found him on the table, drinking some milk. You naughty kitten, she said. I thought you were with Ginger. Where is he anyway? She looked in Ginger's basket. But of course, he wasn't there. No, well he's run away, hasn't he? He's not there. Dear, dear, dear. Oh, 
Perhaps he's eating his food, she said. But Ginger wasn't there either. I hope he's not upset, she said. I hope he hasn't run away. Well, I think he has run away, my little poppets. Oh dear, what is she going to do? Ah. She put on her Wellington's witcher gum boots and went into the garden and that is where she found him. A very wet, sad, cold ginger hiding under a bush. And there he is, my little poppets, under a bush. There he is there. Ah. He needs to come back inside and sit by the fire where it's nice and warm. The little girl carried Ginger and the kitten inside. It's a pity you can't be friends, she said. She gave Ginger a special meal. She gave the kitten a little plate of his own. Well, I think that's more like it. I think they need to have their own space. A plate of their own, I think. Which is fair enough because everyone needs a bit of space sometimes. Then she tucked Ginger into his own warm basket. All she could find for the kitten to sleep in was a little tiny cardboard box. But the kitten didn't mind because cats love cardboard boxes, however small they are. Well, that's true, they do like to get in boxes. I do believe we read a story about a cat that liked to hide in boxes. Yes, a few stories ago. So when the little girl went in to see the two cats again, and there she is, little girl there. What a lovely, sweet little dress she's got on there. This is how she found them. And now Ginger and the naughty kitten get along very well. Ah, silly pussies. They're jammed in the box together, silly cats. And there they are there, ah. Well, perhaps they're friends after all. Silly, silly cats most of the time. Oh, and look, my little poppets. There's Ginger and the kitten's pulling on his tail. Oh, they are funny, funny creatures, aren't they? The end. Well, that was called Ginger. And there's Ginger there on the cover. Well, it's a double up. We've got another story about a cat. And this one is called, I do believe, I thought, why not have two? I'm in a cat sort of mood, so we'll have cat lady. Oh, that's a scary thought. Mrs. Wiffle Waffle is a cat lady. Matilda's cat, this one's called. Matilda's cat. Oh, this one looks very interesting. I like the cover. Matilda's cat. And here we go, my little poppets. Story number two. I can just turn the page. My fingers don't work sometimes. Matilda's cat likes playing with wool. And there she is there. And there's Matilda also dressed as a cat. What a wonderful costume. Likes playing with wool. Ah. Boxes. There's Matilda in her cat suit peeking over a box. I'm not so sure about this puss though. We'll have to wait and see. Riding bikes! Well, that puss doesn't look like he's too fond of riding bikes to me. I don't know. Oh, the things cats get up to. Matilda's cat likes tea parties. And there they are, my little poppets, having a wonderful tea party there. Matilda in her cat suit. Oh, pouring the tea. And it does look like a wonderful tea party, I have to say. Oh, and funky hats. Nothing like a funky hat. There's a cat there in a wonderful hat. Oh, I do believe that's Matilda. It's hard to see. She's got her face covered up. Matilda's cat likes drawing. Oh, and the two of them, look at them, thick as thieves, drawing away there, having a wonderful time. I don't think there's anything that cats can't do. Climbing trees. Well, I know they like to climb trees, my little poppets. And there's Matilda in the tree there. Wonderful to climb a tree. I must climb another tree again shortly. I haven't done it in a while. Stinky and I'll have to climb a tree. And bedtime stories. And there's Matilda with a lovely book there, having a bedtime story. Simply marvellous. 
Matilda's cat does not like playing with wool, boxes, riding bikes, tea parties, funky hats, fighting foes, drawing, climbing trees or bedtime stories. And there they are there, my little poppets. Oh, so the cat doesn't like those things after all. Matilda's cat likes, and there's Matilda's cat there. I wonder what Matilda's cat likes. Let's see, oh, Matilda. Matilda's cat loves Matilda, of course. That's who he likes. Ah, oh, and there they are there, snuggled up in bed, Matilda. The end. Ah, oh, and there's a final page there of Puss with a pair of slippers, I think it is, and dog slippers there. Well, Matilda's cat. What a marvellous book. I did enjoy that one, I have to say. Matilda's cat. One last look there at the cover. Well, I think we should have a chat to Stinky, of course. We always do after story time. Stinky, did you enjoy that book, dear? You did. Well, that's wonderful. I certainly enjoyed it. And I think, my little poppets, we're really going to have to think about having a cat. I don't know whether it'll be suitable having a cat with Stinky, even though he does like cats. We'll have to wait and see, won't we? Yes, we will. Well, I'm afraid we have come to the end of story time. Once again, it does go so quickly, I have to say. But you know what? Perhaps you could read a story about a cat or perhaps you have a cat at home and you can snuggle up with your fluffy friend. But before we say goodbye, we're going to have our song, aren't we, Stinky dear? Yes, we are. And I'm just going to have a sip of water. I'm quite parched. It's quite a warm day today. Oh, mm. <coughs> ah, bit of a gargle there. A bit like a turkey. Now, I've already had my phone set to microphone, so I don't think I'm going to have to add any pixie dust so we can have our song, our favourite song. Oh, I do love you so much, Stinky. I really do. Kiss, dear. One, two, three. Oh, you're a good boy. You really are. And here we go. I love you. You love me. That's the way it's meant to be with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? I love you, you love me. That's the way it's meant to be with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? Oh, and just in time, and the magic's worn off. Oh, Stinky, I do love you so, I really do, as I love all of the little poppets out there who watch Storytime today. Well, until next time, my little poppets, keep watching and...